Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys aren't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. For today's video, based off of the title, I'm finally trying out the Denman brush. I am so excited. I've heard so many good things about it. So I went ahead and picked it up off of Amazon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I like it, how I use it, and how I achieved these results. So if you guys are interested to see all of that, go ahead and keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. All right, so I've now just washed my hair with shampoo and conditioner, so it's ready to go ahead and get styled. I'm gonna go ahead and section off my hair like I usually do before applying the products. Before I apply products, I love to have my hair completely soaking wet. This allows the curls to really absorb the product and to really get the definition. Before I purchased the Denman brush, I did a little research and it said that it is not a detangling brush, so I knew it wasn't going to work for my hair, so I'm using my normal brush that I bought from CVS. Now I went ahead and applied my absolute favorite leave-in conditioner from Garnier Fructis, and I'm going to go ahead and rake it in before applying my styling product. For today's video, I'm using Maui Moisture's Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie to style my curls. This will add a lot of definition and really make the curls clump together. As you guys can tell, I'm so used to raking my curls after applying the products, but now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Denman brush for the very first time. So I purchased this off of Amazon and it is the seven row brush. Please remember that this is not a detangling brush and it can actually rip your curls out, but this is what it looks like when I use it on the section that already has products. As you guys can see, the curls are starting to clump together and create this spirally type of curl pattern. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, apply the product, and then also brush through with the Denman brush. As you guys can tell, when using the brush, I'm really pulling away from my head, and then towards the end of the curls, I like to curl the brush away to create a nice spiral pattern. Because this was my first time using the Denman brush, I was so intrigued by the pattern that I was getting. So now I'm going to continue the same process on the rest of my hair. When I was using the Denman brush, I really saw that the products were getting evenly distributed through my hair. I feel like I'm so late to trying this brush, but better late than never. Um, what do you guys think so far? I feel like I do it multiple times just to make sure that I get the ringlet type of curl. After using the brush, I really make sure to also scrunch right after just to get more definition. For me, this section tends to be the driest part of my hair, so I really, really need to apply lots of water to get it soaking wet before applying the products. Um, I just got a trim, but for some reason, I also just experienced looser curls here, so applying a lot of products really does help me. So I'm very excited to see how the Denman brush really creates a tight curl pattern. Now that we're getting to the section that's in front of my face, I really like to have a lot of definition. Um, I feel like if this part isn't defined, the rest of the curls look bad and it's a bad hair day. So I really focus to get defined curls and hydrated curls at the same time. A lot of you guys do ask how long it takes to style my hair and I would say about 20 minutes just to make sure it all gets evenly coated. 
But of course, we're not done yet. I'm gonna finalize the styling part with the sculpting gel from Not Your Mother. I just kind of smooth this onto my curls just to seal in the curl pattern. Finally, I'm just going in and separating any curls that are still clumped together. I'm going to use the Denman brush a few more times just to make sure the curl patterns are there before I go ahead and start diffusing. Okay guys, looks like I am good to go before I start diffusing. What do you guys think? This is the final result after using the Denman brush. I love it. You can see the ringlets. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and start diffusing using the Diva dryer as well as the Curly Co diffuser. When I diffuse, I go ahead and switch between the cool and warm temperature. Um, sometimes I use the warm temperature a bit more if I know that I need to head out soon or if I'm in a rush, but now I'm just going to go ahead and diffuse. When it comes to diffusing my hair, I like to make sure it's a little bit dry before I start flipping it around. If I do it before, then I do see a lot of frizziness by the time I'm at the final result and it's not as defined. So I let it dry for a little bit, then I start flipping it and kind of scrunching it to get more definition. Once I'm about 70% done with drying it, I let it air dry. Um, I don't want to apply too much heat onto it just because I have nowhere to go. So I will be back with the final results. Hey guys, I'm back from letting my hair air dry for the rest of the time. It is now 100% dry and I'm so excited about the results. Look at the curls, look at the pattern. They're super tight, so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and apply some oil to it to add some shine and to break up some of the curls before I rake it out. So what do you guys think? I'm so excited. So this is gonna be the oil I am using for today's results. This really helps to break the crunchy feeling. So you just wanna lift at the root and don't go past that point when using this to create more volume. So we're almost there, but to add some more volume, I'm gonna apply some more oil to my hair. And this will help me to go ahead and break up some of the curls that are still clumped together. So for instance, you can see that is happening. So you will just separate it, separate it. Um, just wanna be gentle with this part. So there's some more here that you can just separate. All right guys, so this is my day one hair, meaning it's not gonna get any bigger than this until day two, three, four. I usually get the best results on day three and four where I have lots and lots of volume, but I still have definition. It's usually by five, six where I lose the definition and get a lot of frizz. But I feel like with using the Denman brush, it can really help to prolong the the results and to have the definitions last me so I don't have to do another wash day. But in general, overall, I love this brush. Um, it was my very first time trying it out. It is the seven row Denman brush and I got it in all black just because I feel like it looks cleaner. Um, I love the results. As you guys can see, my curls are just absolutely super defined. Uh, I have all, all of my curls look very tight and defined and shiny. Um, that also has to do with really good products. Those products that I use in this video are some of my holy grails. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I truly enjoy trying out the Denman brush. Like I said, I feel like I'm very late to this, uh, but I'm glad I went ahead and tried it out. I will have the Amazon link to where I purchased this down below in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But let me know what you guys think. If you like my results the other way, um, but yeah, final results. Let me know how you liked it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.